Hello and welcome to this demo of Violet Smart Switch Lite. Today we're going to be configuring software version 141 with Sonos and Philips Hue. This demo unit is just booting. Once it's done so, it will tell us that there is no Wi-Fi connection. And we can get started by tapping on the settings tab at the top of the screen. We can go into the network settings and here, as you'd expect, we're presented with a list of networks to connect to. We tap on the one we want to be connected to, type in the PSK as you'd expect, press the tick and it's going to attempt to connect. A few seconds after connecting, the switch should have received an IP address and we can confirm this by tapping on the network again. We can see yes, it does have an IP address we can see the signal level, we can disconnect from the network or forget it. If we wanted to connect to a previously saved network, we'd simply tap it. Now that we're connected to the network, we can continue with the Philips Hue configuration. Tap on Philips Hue, we're going to be presented with a list of available Philips Hue bridges. I'm gonna tap on the first one and now we've been asked to press the Hue Bridge Link button. Now that I've pressed the Link button, the switch is going to attempt to connect to the bridge. And once it's done so, we should be presented with a list of rooms. In this demo, we only have one room, but if there was more, they would be shown here. So now we simply tap on the room we want and we'll be presented with a list of scenes from that room. From here, we can select up to seven scenes to be displayed on the scene screen. The order that they're selected in is the order that they'll be numbered and the order that they'll be shown on the scene screen. We can deselect a scene by tapping it again and this will change the ordering. Pressing the tick button will save these settings and if we now go to the scene screen, we can see we have our seven scenes and also the on off button, which will toggle the state of the room. We don't have to select all seven though, if we come back into the settings menu and remove them down to three scenes, we can see now we have our three scenes and our on off button. Continuing on to the next stage, we can go back to the main settings menu and set up our location. The time zone will affect the time shown on the settings tab and the postal code is for the weather information. The postal code does need to be within the same region as the time zone. And pressing tick will find your location. If we now go back to the scene screen, we can see that the weather information has updated based on our location. Continuing with the setup, we have display options. This is our standby timer. We can set it anywhere from five seconds to 60 seconds. In the screens menu, for the audio screen, we can either select none or Sonos. If you don't have Sonos, it's advised to set this to none so that the device doesn't continually try and discover Sonos devices on your network. If you do have Sonos though, you want to select Sonos, and this is all the configuration you need to do for Sonos. The final item is the system menu. Here we can erase data. This will wipe all of your settings and you'll be able to start from scratch. Reboot will instantly reboot the device. We also have this button on the bottom. A short press will reboot. A three second press will do a slightly harder reboot if for some reason the short press doesn't work. Whilst we're on this bottom edge, we also have an SD card, which will be used in a forthcoming feature. And we have a micro USB, which can be used to power the device. Send report will send us diagnostic information if we ask you to do so. 
And finally, the About menu will confirm the serial number, the MAC address, and the software version. So that concludes the configuration of Violet Smart Switch Lite with Hue and Sonos on software version 141. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to follow us on our social channels at Violet Smart Switch and subscribe to our newsletter via our website. Bye for now.